Hello and welcome to video tutorial number 12 of how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver. Well, you already know the title. Uh, what we're going to do now is leaving a little aside the administration part. I hope by now you have already under control the thing of creating users, how to modify users, and maybe you even add some extra fields, etc. Later, after this stage, we're going to devote to the back end of the page. We will return to the administration part to deal with issues such as issuing invoices, controlling the incoming orders, etc. Um, what we're going to do from scratch now is the main screen, sort to say the, the structure upon which we will build the whole of the page. Um, the, the administration on one side, the back end, and, and the front end, which would be the shop as such. So we're going to use the templates provided by Dreamweaver, which are quite handy. Uh, I'm not sure if you have understood this or if you have kept on using them in the administration but they will prove to be very useful for our page so and to go straight to the point I know you don't like beating about the bush we go to file click new and we're going to create a template we select blank template it will be a PHP template and let's look for something which is more or less for me the classic and handy thing is this because in some way this is the type two set width columns, a header and a footer. That's it. We will put the CSS in a new file and now we will ask us where. We will save it in style and we will name it main.css to differentiate it from this one which is the administration CSS. We save and as you can see it already creates here what, what it created in the administration before. It creates uh, let, let's do something, let's save this, right? Now it says it hasn't got any editable area, now we will change that and I will tell it, for example, main to know that the base admin template and the main is the page. We save and now let's make a page link to this template um, so that we can m watch it in the navigator and know what we're modifying each time. New file, oops, I did wrong new file it would be a template page right shoe shop and I will choose main update update the page when the template changes tick there's yes we hit create and it has already created the page Control S to save I save the page I'm going a little faster now because if you have already used Dreamweaver what I'm explaining now is a little nonsense and necessary to, to explain I'm going to call this index, for example, and I save. And with no further delay, we go to the navigator to my page in the local, local host, shoes, right? There we got it. Everything is correct. Dreamweaver has just created it, which would be a main layer, the header, which would be all this area from this non existing logo to this green part then a div layer on the left side and a div layer on the right side with white background and then a footer net down here up to here we will have everything done by now but I'm interested in going uh, going a little beyond and make a difference from everybody else it's very easy and very easy to understand Let's do, if you want, the, the classical layout or structure of the typical web pages we can visit nowadays, in which the heading occupies the whole width of the page, no matter how wide is your screen. You see, here it's always the same size. If I decrease the window size, it gets lost. It's always centered, etc. I'm interested in the typical header that goes from here to here, and the typical footer that goes from one side to another. And however, the body of the page remains centered in the page. Pages that are being made nowadays have got that effect. Dreamweaver in this CS5 version hasn't got it yet, but I suppose it will in short. Anyway, we can do it very easily with a very small knowledge of CSS. So, we will do as follows. First, we go back to Dreamweaver and close this label. Because the one we're going to retouch will be this one. What I would do first to clean this mess would be taking all this text and maybe maybe leave just this piece. The menu, if you want, I'm gonna blow it off. 
you see here it selects everything inside the UL so I delete and here I would add a menu so I select all thing all this delete it and I'm going to write place menu here I'm going to delete this logo as well I delete and basically for you to understand what remains here I'm going to select and delete this and write instead footer and that's it okay the only weird thing here in the content of the page is this ISO 8859-1 what does it mean? it means letter N is contained here as well as graphical accents and long etc I like using this one but you can use UTF-8 as well no problem at all but this is rather a, a matter of likes next thing we will do will be trying to quickly understand how clear I've left this all the divisions in the page, the different divs first one, the container which would be this yellow frame is, is the one that controls the whole page then the header which would be just this green part of here I want to go from one side to another the sidebar one would be the place where I want to put the menu the part in the right would be the content which is the content of the page as such and down here the footer okay as you can see this isn't very difficult to understand and it's basically what we have this div would close the container so everything would be inside that container next thing to do is going to the CSS page that controls this template here we have main CSS and we will try and modify it a little from the code page first thing would be well here the margin and the padding are zero the color is zero as well it's right for me next thing would be looking for the header here it is and I'm going to modify it but the next thing will be modifying the container as the container includes everything what I want is this container to occupy the whole of the page no matter what visualization size has the screen so we will modify the container the container gives us a width of 960 pixels I'm going to change it to 100% background color will be white and the zero auto margin will center the text in the page although the size will be a hundred percent and I will never have borders but this would be very useful in fact I'm going to copy it because I will also give those values to the header I will make it a center header oops here we are I will leave the background as it was I will make a center header but with a specific size for you to see how it looks like I will give it a size of 980 pixels which is more or less the standard container and a header so we have a container and a header the container takes 100% of the screen and the header takes 980 pixels which will always be less than the container size as long as it's a big screen and in addition it will be centered let's see how does it look like I'm gonna save first here it saves well it asks me if I want to save index PHP as well of course it wants okay I go back to the web I update and by now it has done something strange as I cannot see the header it has stretched everything to the borders etc but what I want is that this middle part belonging to the sidebar and the contents are centered it's very easy let's get back here and we're going to create a new layer that will contain this section here and this one to do it we come here copy this piece and I will name it container or, or better sub container and this sub container will contain the sidebar one and the content so after this I will put it if you want I will write a comment to guide me and that's it in container Okay, I will try and indent a little this thing for us to see how it's been done. Okay, this container starts here and ends here, and it has the the sidebar and the content. Now we will define what this container. Hold on, first we say we modify. Okay, let's define the subcontainer. Let's make a copy of this. 
which is always useful and I change this name to subcontainer right I want the background to be white centered and a width of 980 pixels so that theoretically it will go in the line with the header I will save before further speculations I save it and there we have it I'm going to write something in the header because as there is nothing we cannot see anything either I will write here header save accept accept update it's always the same right there we have it the header is taking 180 pixels but we can make it take the 100% of the pages we said let's do it let's go to main CSS header and instead of 980 pixels I want it to take 100% of the width we will see that later these are comments added by Dreamweaver we can delete them sidebar 1 and the content can uh, take me 180 and 780 pixels that makes 960 pixels as I increase to 900 pixels uh, I can increase those 20 pixels to the content and it will fit better I save update this and here it is maybe you don't see the effect very well because I crash all the code here I'm going to do something, I'm going to fill this with random writing for you to see how does it look like save accept update and close the usual stuff you see now we have the way layout we have the header that goes from one side to the other later we will make a layer to center this part here we have the left side and the right side and a footer that goes from one side to the other which is the the basic structure to set up our shop later we'll fix this gray background and more things and we will add more colors for us to distinguish different things but with this I consider you have a fundamental structure that we will be using to create the whole shop and well not to stretch this too much and not to go more in depth with this CSS topic which I know bores many of you because you're not designers or you don't want to know anything about it I consider it's interesting at least to understand so see you in the next video tutorial number 13 and we will start doing the left side menu the one on the right the one in the header and we'll add some color to the overall aspect right so thanks a lot for your attention thanks for your comments and support they help me to make more video tutorials every week and see you in half nothing regards